Say hello to Stinking Beauty, a corpse flower in its blooming phase at the San Diego Botanic Garden. Doesn't look like any other flower you've probably ever seen. It's sort of the stuff of imagination. It's really a beautiful color, a beautiful shape. The smell is so strange for a flower. This eye-catching plant only blooms every two to seven years. That's why Robin and her son Owen canceled their plans and took a drive from Chula Vista to Encinitas to see it bloom in person. This cool plant was blooming and we wanted to come see it for ourselves. We didn't want to miss it. It's like, you know, when a comet goes by, you don't want to miss it. Stinking Beauty gets the name by its powerful smell during the late nights or early mornings during its bloom. It smells everything from onion to diaper to rotten, you know, carcass, rat or something like that, and everything in between. The strong odor attracts pollinators like beetles or flesh-eating flies. The smell is meant to trick animals into thinking there's something tasty inside the flower. And in doing that, it traps them in the base for a while, makes them pollinate them, which then in turn just keeps the seed producing. Right now, the plant is above 50 inches, but Brandy tells me corpse flowers can grow very tall with the record reaching 10 feet. This one has turned into a flower bud, and so it develops this little spike, which has a spadix and a spathe, and we're at the point now where it's actually opening up. The flower will stay open for about three to four days before the spadix collapses and begins to rot. If the plants have been pollinated successfully, Brady says, the fruits will stay around for about nine months, and then the cycle begins again. It could become either a leaf or a flower. It's very rare that we're going to see these bloom. If you have never seen them or smelled them, it's quite an experience. The San Diego Botanic Garden is extending their hours during the bloom. But if you would like to see it without taking in the smell, you could check out the live stream on the Botanic Garden's website. You can find a link to that on our web version of this story at CBS8.com. In Encinitas, Esmeralda Perez, CBS8.